So what do you what do you think of folks um, working from pictures versus working from real life? I think each each one has something to offer. I think it's more difficult for a new student to do things from life because if it's a person, they move around and they can't help it. We had professional people come in and they would hold still, but there was times that they even had to move mm -hmm. where pictures are much easier to do. There's a bigger chance of you getting sued, though, if you copy a picture. <laughs> I mean, there is no doubt about it. And it's much better to combine two pictures together if you're going to do that. Change it somehow, whatever way you want. Um, and it's more of a secure thing for people to do uh, than for them to do a live person or a live animal. It's hard to make the live animal hold still. So if you're really interested in doing animals, it's better for you to take the picture instead of somebody else and make up your own intake on it. It's better, too, to take, like, a landscape picture and add a moving object that might be in it, like for instance, you could take your dog or your cat or your your car or something like this and have them hold still, take a picture of them and then put it in an active background or vice versa. It really will work better for you. Then you can change the picture, you can make it different, um, and then you can make it your own design. And then you can follow all those rules that they have now, the dark, medium, and light, um, you know, the color combination, the seeming movement in the picture, the stillness in the picture, and make it all work together. And then you can also concentrate on the colors it all depends on what the artist finds interesting to them. And that happens for everybody, that um, they have different things that really um, make them feel comfortable in doing. And, um, uh, and it's really good for a person to go ahead and do their own thing.